This is a quick video on taking apart the pinwheel for a Metabo HPT air spring nailer. The uh, pinwheel is what drives the, the driver up and down inside the tool. And when you get it, when you replace a driver, it comes with a brand new number one pin, which you should change out because the, if there's wear on the driver, then there's wear on this pin and it will, you'll have to change it out. Take your bearing pullers and remove your, your bearings. And I went ahead and pre-did this for the video so we can have, save a little bit of time. Underneath the bearing is an O-ring. Be careful not to damage that O-ring. Go ahead and take it up over the legs there and take out that O-ring. And then you'll notice that the track inside of here, you'll notice that there's a pin. There's a pin right there. It's holding on the positioning sensor, the plastic positioning sensor. That pin is holding it on. So this track goes out. It has an opening on one end. So go ahead and push that pin out that way, out the way it's open, like so. You got that pin. Now your positioning sensor comes off. Set that aside. Now you can go ahead and take the spring that's on the number one pin and take that leg off flip it over and take the spring off that side and then you can take the number one pin out and if you're just replacing the number one pin because you're also replacing the driver this is as far as you need to go but if you're if you're replacing the felt then we continue to take out pins there's eight four millimeter pins and there's one four and a half millimeter pin the one four and a half millimeter pin goes opposite the number one pin there's this gap where the driver engages your fasteners. That four and a half millimeter pin is on the opposite side of that gap for your number one. Okay, so from here we can just poke out all of our pins to get to our felt. The felt is up underneath the pins. If you have to replace a spring, go ahead and remove it and replace it with a new one. There, all of our pins are off now. Don't lose any. You can use a magnet or something to keep everything in one spot. And then what you have underneath is a felt. Now if that felt is degraded and gone and pretty much tore up, you can go ahead and replace it with a new one. When you replace it with a new one, you want to impregnate it with about one gram of grease. Just evenly get it all in this felt. I'm just going to reuse the old one here, but you want about one gram of grease. When you put the pins back in, you're going to take about a gram and a half of grease and coat all the pins with a gram and a half of grease. Okay? So we've got a new felt. We'll pretend this is a new felt. And then we're going to look and see where the gap is and put the felt on here so it goes down inside. There's openings in, in the middle of the pinwheel. You see those legs on the felt? They have to go in those openings. So you line it up, put it down in there. Oh, oh, we don't want it in front of the number one pin, so let's go ahead and take it back out. And then we'll move it around a little bit further away. We don't want the number one pin to be interfered with. Press it down in there. Check the inside here. Yep, see the felt is sticking through those holes. We're good to go. And now we can remember one gram of grease in the felt, a gram and a half of grease distributed evenly on the rest of the pins. Now we're gonna put our pins back in. These holes are smaller on one side, so you drop them in on this side. And if it doesn't want to go all the way through, the felt is probably holding it. So just move the felt out of the way until the pin drops all the way in. They all have to be flush in this pinwheel. Okay. Oh, that one doesn't go in there. That's a fatter one. So that's the four and a half millimeter pin that goes in there. You can see that felt is trying to get in the way. So we'll push it down a little bit until it goes all the way in. Uh, 
some felt must have went down inside the hole. So we'll push it back out and re redistribute it. That felt does not want to cooperate. There we go. All right, then we'll continue on. There's always one in the bunch that wants to give you a hard time. Yeah, you see it. They're sticking up some. So, so I'll take and push the felt down some, push it in. Push the felt down some, push it in. Got one more. Now I'll put in my number one pin. The number one pin is like a nail, it has a head, and the head is going to go on this side that has, that we're all, the side that we put all of our pins into, that's the side that's going to take the, the head of the number one pin. And then we're going to go ahead and put our spring on there in the groove. And then we're going to go to the other side, and it's a little tricky, but you take that spring and get it in the groove on the number one pin. Make sure the other end of your pin, the other end of your spring, it has a foot on it. Make sure it's in the hole on both sides. There's both springs have a little foot on it that has to go inside of those holes. All right. So that's now all back together. Make sure all your pins are flat. Now the position indicator, let's see, there's a good shot of it, has a groove. See that groove right there? Now that groove is going to go over our number one pin, just like that. If you put it anywhere else it's not really it's not going to fit properly and then also if you put it anywhere else the positioner is not going to tell the tool where the driver is it's not going to it's not going to indicate the proper position so that deepest part of that groove has to go over the head of the number one pin now go ahead and put your locking pin back in here it just slides back in Oops, too far. There we go. And take your O-ring and put that back on there. And then take your your bearings and take your put that put all the bearings and everything in this into like a bench press, a hand press, put you a socket or something over this, and then and then press it down so all the so the bearings are flush all the way down to the to the uh, where they go to where they seat all the way down. All right, that's it. That's how to re replace the felt. Remember, one gram of grease in the felt, evenly throughout the entire felt, and then also a gram and a half of grease evenly distributed on all the pins when you put them back in. All right, cool, hope this helps.